project that I'm working on. It involves characterizing the mechanical properties of all the sorts of biological tissues. And one tissue that we're particularly interested in is brain tissue. We want to develop synthetic um, polymeric materials that replicate the impact response of these brain tissues so that they could be used as injury models and predicting injury severity and understanding injury mechanisms and for things like assessing new protective equipment. I put this fluid cell, this container around the sample post so that the tissue sample remains hydrated throughout the mechanical characterization process. Now I'm just putting the sample stage back into the micromaterials nano indenter. I have to determine how far the pendulum swings back before you apply the load to drive it into the material. And now it's swung back and then you'll see the pendulum, it just swung forward. Now um, I'm done with the calibration and I'm ready to basically shift my sample stage um, down and to the left and then back up so that the probe is inside the fluid cell and can make contact with the brain tissue sample. So you can see that the probe just got um, submerged in the fluid. So now I can make contact with my the brain sample and start the test. Um, what you get is a displacement versus time response of the probe. And from these different bounces, we can analyze how quickly or how much energy it can dissipate from the, the impact. I've been characterizing these impact responses of all kinds of tissues and then designing synthetic gels that have the same impact response curves. The actual experiment only takes three seconds, but in terms of setting up everything correctly is, is what takes, can be quite time consuming. So, and I would do three to five repeat measurements at each impact velocity as well as testing different regions of the sample. We, we want to study how biological tissues like the brain, heart, and liver respond to impact. So in order to basically protect civilians and military personnel, it's important to understand how soft tissues respond or behave under impact or extreme impact loads. And if we can mimic or design a material that mimics this impact response, it would be very helpful to serve as an injury model and to basically use to assess new protective equipment that can minimize this harm.